Hey guys, it's Pope and welcome back to my channel. Kind of a surprise maybe, but today is show day. It's competition day for me. Uh, since I last did a vlog, things have changed a little bit. I was planning to do the Atlanta Pro Show, which is about a month from now, but my physique was really coming together and I felt really good about where I was at. So I decided last minute to sign up for this show in Montgomery, Alabama. It's called the Body B1 Classic. So that's what I'm gonna be competing in today. This event today is an Olympia qualifier. And while I don't necessarily think that it is my time to make it to the Olympia just yet, I do want to still shoot my shot and I am playing to win this season. So I wanted to give myself a few chances at that qualification. So since I was feeling really good about my physique, this is truly the best shape I've ever been in. Um, I decided to jump in this show last minute and I probably will still do the Atlanta Pro as well to give myself a few chances at that qualification. Competing at the Olympia is my ultimate goal long term now. I don't know, like, like I said, if it's going to happen this year, but I do want to try. So today I'm just going to put my best showing forward and see what happens. There is a lot of good girls doing this show today and it's a big class. There's 10 of us, so it's going to be really fun. I met all of the other girls last night at check-in and I know it's just going to be an awesome day no matter what the outcome is. But like I said, this is the best I've ever looked. So I'm just extremely excited to showcase my physique today and perform a new routine in the finals tonight. I have uh, dieted down. Everything has gone really well coaching myself. I have nailed my peak week. I feel really good about what I'm putting on stage today. I'm extremely dry, so it's hard to talk right now because I'm really water depleted. <laughs> but it looks really good and I'm excited to show the judges my hard work because I have been working my tail off for this show season. So I'm really excited, ready to get going. I'm about to head over to get my second coat of tan now. Got the first coat last night, get my hair and makeup done. And then it's game time this morning. Posing is first. If you're not familiar with the fitness category that I do, uh, we do the bikini posing round just like figure does in the pre-judging and then at night I will do my performance routine with the acrobatics and athletic skills and whatnot in it. I've created a completely new routine since I competed at the Arnold back in March and I'm really excited about my new routine. I've made some pretty big changes in how I set up my routine and I think I'm going to be able to perform this routine a lot better so I'm just stoked to do it and get some feedback. This is a little bit smaller show and the head judge at the meeting said that she would give in-person feedback right when we get done which is just an awesome opportunity so I'm al already feeling really good about the decision to do this show and I think it's gonna be a great day so let's go get glam. Just finished up with pre-judging, the bikini posing round. I feel really, really good about my presentation. That is by far the best physique I've put on stage. I have really improved by leaning up my legs this time, drying out a little bit more. My shoulders were major improvement this time. I thought my back development is coming along now. I feel really, really good about the physique I put on stage. I have absolutely no idea where I am in the placing. <laughs> the way they did the comparisons after we all did our individual posing, I was not in the first call out at first and then they switched it and brought me into the call out and 
it was not clear who was in the first or the second call out because it was just like a mixed bag both times. But I think that they ended up placing me a bit higher than they were initially. I literally have no idea, but either way, I feel really good about what I put on stage. And now I'm looking forward to performing my fitness routine tonight. Uh, the judges said at the end of our comparisons while they were trying to place us that we were making it very difficult. So I think it's just a very competitive show. So I got to bring the heat tonight on my fitness routine to place well, which I'm hoping to do. I'm really excited to perform this routine. It's a very fun theme and I got an awesome costume. I loved the green. I thought it looked really good on me. It was really fun. I felt, it felt fun, like bold and like my personality. So I feel really good about it and we'll see how I stack up at the end of the day. So time to rest up, eat a little bit and then hit the stage with my performance. I'm back in Atlanta now and had a little bit of time to process the show a bit. It's about a week after I competed in Alabama and I gotta say I was pretty bummed with the result. I wasn't like anticipating I would win or anything but I did think that I would place at least in the top half so ending up seventh out of the ten competitors was really disappointing. And like I said, I'm just feeling kind of bummed, but I am turning that feeling into fuel for the fire for the next one. I'm really excited to do another show and just excited to try to build on this. It's my first year as a pro, my first season, like even thinking about like, I want to try to make it to the Olympia. And like I said, in the beginning of this video, it may not be my time yet. It might not happen this year. It might not happen next year. But it is a goal that I'm like setting up for myself now that I want to work towards and chase after. And that's just something about me that like I just have to have something in my life like that to chase and pursue and strive for like really like just kind of sets my soul on fire to chase something like that. So I'm excited to have this very big challenge ahead of me. It takes as long as it takes and I just want to keep improving. So moving on from this show, that's just the goal. Try to do better next time. Reflecting on my performance, I am so stoked with how I did. This was definitely my best physique so far. I've made some really good improvements in muscularity. This is the leanest I've gotten so far, even though I know I need to get even leaner. This was the best that I've put on stage so far. My posing was really good. I felt very confident. I felt amazing in the lime green bikini that Courtney made. Physique round, like, I did really well. So the cards kind of fall where they fall, you know? Like, I was placed where I was placed. But 
I feel really good about what I put on stage as far as it being the best that I've done so far. And really that's all you can ask of yourself. So in the physique round, I didn't make first call outs. I was kind of in the middle of the pack of second call outs. So it wasn't at the bottom. Um, I was like three quarters down. And then when it came to routine round, I performed my routine flawlessly. I was so, so proud of the performance that I did. I felt amazing. It was a huge adrenaline rush. I love performing. I am just born to perform. I love competing, so I had a great time out there on the stage. I performed my skills really well, which is what I wanted the most out of that next show after the Arnold. I messed up my routine at the Arnold. I felt really shitty about it, and so to come back next show and just really nail my routine felt awesome. And it's kind of interesting, I placed seventh in both rounds. <laughs> so I placed identical in the physique round and the routine round. So I ended up seventh overall because seventh and seventh. When it comes to my category, it is weighted two thirds on the routine round and one third on physique, but I was seventh in both, so that's easy math. <laughs> like I said, I didn't expect to win. There was some really talented girls, some veteran girls. Um, Tiffany that won, I love her. She's an awesome athlete. She has been in the sport in a long time. I've learned a lot from her. Her routine is so awesome. I really respect her. So if she deserves that Olympia qualification, I'm super happy for her. And then Amber that was first in the physique round. I mean, she was just shredded. She looked incredible. I think she's been a pro for about eight years. So I'm going against these girls, women that have been competing in bodybuilding in a very long time. They're very seasoned muscle that they're putting on the stage. And I'm really new, like it's my first season. So I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself, but at the same time, it's just like, I do not feel satisfied with a seventh place because I'm extremely competitive. I just want to do better than that for myself. So it's hard to present that in like content that like in no way am I saying I deserved better but I'm not happy with where I finished either <laughs> if that makes any sense like I'm placing where I probably deserve to place but that is not good enough for me <laughs> so I just want to get better so pedal to the metal I'm gonna try to do better at my next show that's just I will do better also like my track record proves that if I put my mind something to it, I'm going to go do it. I'm going to deliver. So I feel confident that next show I will do even better, even though I'm walking away like this was my best so far, but I don't like where I place, so that's not good enough. So let's level up even more. <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's also extremely difficult coming from the sport that my recent sports background is from weightlifting is literally like you either lift the weight or you don't. And that's how you place. And now it's completely subjective. So it's like, you can do everything right, but at the end of the day, it's up to the judges. And they either like and appreciate your look or they don't. And that's hard also. So there's no like black and white, like there's a standard look that's being like compared to what they're expecting on stage. And there's criteria, but there's not there's nothing black and white. Everything is kind of gray area interpretation by the judges, especially when it comes to the routine round. We're supposed to just perform and look impressive and show off our athleticism and fitness. And there is a few requirements, but beyond that, it's just like who can be the most entertaining, the most energetic, the most powerful, the most expressive. Like there's not a lot of set in stone rules especially in the routine round it's all subjective what the judges like and so that can be very frustrating too because like I said I crushed my routine I did a really really awesome job on my routine I got seventh and it's like oh it's just hard like coming from such a black and white sport like you put that snatch over your head or it landed on the ground like you did a press out or your arm was straight versus now it's just like the judges really liked my routine or they didn't. <laughs> and that is hard to process and something that is going to force some personal growth on my end. 
I was in no way salty. I was very happy for the girls that placed ahead of me, but it's just like, oh, uh, well, that sucks for me to get seventh. I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to convey my feelings because I guess they're very mixed. I can be both very happy for the girls that placed ahead of me and very disappointed and like a little bit let down for myself. Both of those things can be true. And like I said, this is forcing some, some growth within me as an individual. And that's something I really love about sports in general. All of this is also another reason why I advocate so much for competing. Like if I didn't have this experience, I would not be hungry to do that much better at the next one. And that's what's so great about putting yourself out there where you're at, even if you think you're not ready, go see what you can do, get your self-reflection going, get your critique from the judges, see where you stand in the pack of your competition, go back to the drawing board, see where you can improve and put something better on the table next time around. I did get some feedback from the judges, which was super helpful. And uh, what they said was that my shape overall was very good, but that I need to bring a little bit better conditioning overall. And when it comes to bodybuilding, conditioning means like leanness, hardness, just uh, body fat percentage is an interpretation of conditioning. And that they want to see more leg lines, that my quads could be tighter, my glutes could be tighter, but then they reiterated at the end that my overall physique and presentation was really, really strong. So I think the gap from where I'm at right now in seventh and placing higher and what was actually placing at this show was top five. That's a good next goal for me to try to achieve. It's just dropping a little bit more body fat, trying to get it to come off of my legs. And I was dieting hard. I was doing a ton of cardio. I did drop a lot of body fat in this prep, but they just want to see me take that a little bit further. And I was planning to do a string of shows. So this is perfect. I can just keep pushing, try to drop my body fat a little bit more. And that's what I'm going to do. So <laughs> Coming up next for me is going to be the Atlanta Pro. This is the show that I was training for, really to peak for all along, but I may do another show after that one as well because I'm just really fired up and hungry to try to improve as much as I can this season. So I'm stoked to be doing this show in a few weeks. I've got exactly four weeks between shows, which is not a lot of time, but it is enough time to make an incremental improvement. So I really want to just try to deliver a little bit better package on that Atlanta Pro stage. And I'm going to, you, you best believe, I'm going to show some improvement. <laughs> and that's another thing about bodybuilding, like the judges getting to know you as a pro, they want to see you improve from one show to the next and like be earning those placements. That's something some of the other girls have told me, like you gotta get the judges to get to know you. They wanna see you getting better every show and then they will start rewarding that. All that to say, back to the drawing board, what that looks like for me is basically keep doing what I'm doing and push a little bit harder. So I'm gonna ramp up cardio a little bit more, cut back my food a little bit more and just give it all I've got for these next few weeks to try to bring a little bit better conditioning to my lower body. I'm really taking that judges feedback to heart and I'm going to put it into action and I'm going to show them a little bit better conditioning on Capo. I also did a lot of reflecting about documenting my journey and as hard as it is as a busy mom, a business owner, like I'm doing so many things, it's extremely difficult for me to make these videos to like create the time and space to dedicate to making them good. I think it's really important to document this journey because I've basically started over, like I have this base of strength, I have this base of muscularity, but I've really started from scratch in a new sport and I'm really trying to climb the ladder and there's a lot of these moments of growth that are going to be happening that I think can be like extremely helpful for my following and I want to do the best I possibly can to document it so that I can give back to the community because my journey I know can help other people. It may not be in the exact same way, like you may not be following in my footsteps, you might not care about bodybuilding at all, you might not wanna compete at all, but there's just a lot of lessons that come from these 
you know, peaks and valleys that comes with sports. And I think I would be doing a disservice to the people that I might could reach if I don't try to document all this stuff because it just feels, I feel like an even stronger calling than ever to, to create and to, to just show what I'm going through at each stage of this journey. And I don't want to get to where one day maybe I'm making the Olympia or just like feeling on top of the world and not have documented what it took to get there. So I want to really, really try to get back to making these videos for you guys and investing in YouTube <clears throat> and investing in YouTube again a little bit more. So I'm really trying to commit to making more videos so I can bring you guys along more with these adventures I'm going through. So stay tuned for more videos as we prep for the Atlanta Pro. I'll see you guys in the next one soon. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. We're going to bring a better package next, next show. You better believe it. Let's go.